And then these are the ones for Pride Month, if anybody celebrates it. So, oh, hello! Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you too? You know, it's been a good day, you know? Um, no complaints, you know? Except for the heavy rain and the cicadas. Those cicadas are so freaking loud. So I have to meet you. It's my pleasure to have you here, okay? Mm. You know, I'm honored that a prince would even want to talk to a gal like me, you know? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, why, thank you. And you know what? You're a pretty handsome prince. So where's my glass slipper? I know you are so happy for that, okay? I'm single looking for a serious relationship. I can't see you online, okay? You are so sweet for me. Oh, okay, honey, friend. you are just so awesome. Well, I'm a doctor and I work all day. I'm at the hospital, so I can't answer my phone. But in the evenings, I'm always available to talk and whatever you want to do. You know, if you want to come over and take me out on a date, you know, and buy me a really nice steak dinner. You know, I'm all in, you know. But no, in the evenings is when I'm available. So I don't usually have my my home phone, my personal phone, I should say. It's home phone. It's everywhere with me. Um, the only place I don't take it with me is in the bathtub. <laughs> But anyway, I um but I'm in the evenings, I'm always available for you. No problem. Now like now I want to know more about you. Can you explain more about me about yourself to me? Oh sure. Well I'll what would you like to know? Would you like me to give you my whole story? It's not very exciting, you know, but so my name is Suzanne Sugar Baker. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a urologist. I, my specialty is visectomies and erectile dysfunction. And um, I used to be a proctologist and I worked on butts all the time. So I wanted to switch to the front of the body to see what I could do, you know, and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I live in Uranus, Missouri. It's a wonderful little town. We're known for our world famous fudge factory. And I have a beautiful house that I own and I live alone. And then, of course, you know, I have a, I have goats, you know. Um, I love my goats. I sell the goat milk. My best friend Joanne lives down the road and she kind of helps take care of my goats for me when I'm at work, you know, because I, I can't come home during the day to take care of them. And I'm single. I've never been married, and I don't have any children. And I'm very wow. lonely. That's so nice. That's good to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the lonely part shouldn't be good to hear. I don't like being lonely. I really don't. Okay. Okay. I would like to know more about you, dear. Oh, Are sure. You me? <laughs> well, how about you tell me a little bit about yourself? What does a prince do? Wow, wow, wow. I don't have much. I don't have much, okay? I just working as my father factor, okay? Well, that's nice. Do you have a good relationship with your dad? No, 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 I don't have anyone. That's why I saw you online. I decided to chat with you because you look so handsome, so beautiful. To me. Oh, thank you. No, I was asking, do you have a good relationship with your father? You know, it's important that a father and son have a good relationship. Yeah, 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 honey. Oh, I'm, we are, I'm so we glad. Are in, I'm I can't so wait to welcome you in the palace. Oh, the palace. Oh my gosh, I would give anything to come to the palace. I've never seen a palace before. Honey, are you sure for what you are talking to me? I I would love to go to the palace. I've never been there. Wow, I can't switch. Yeah, when can I come over there? No problem, no problem. Come online so that you can talk about it, okay? Yeah, 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 I want to talk about it. 
I want to come over there. And if you're not careful, I might marry you when I'm over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that would be great. I, I mean, I suppose you're interested in marriage. I shouldn't jump to conclusions, I guess. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'm so sorry for that. Do you have some cough? Oh, it's just a little cough. Usually in a bit, some bourbon takes care of it for me. You know, bourbon is really good for coughs. And it tastes good. Okay, honey. I can do that for you again. I'm going to tell you more about myself again. Okay. Just light me up. You going to tell me about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Chat me up so that you can talk about this. Oh, honey, I, I'm not a good chatter on there. I'm a better talker on the phone. You know, I always feel that listening to someone's voice, you can kind of understand them better, you know, and and hearing how they speak to you. You know, things can be said in a text that you can't take back and you can't apologize for because it's out there forever. Okay, honey. Once you're done with your wife, I want you to message me so that you can continue from there, okay? Because I can't wait to. Okay. Oops. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, that sounds great. No, 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 it's a okay? Okay. Once you're done, you call me so that you can chat. Oh, you want me to, oh, do you want me to call you back? Do you got to go do something? You got to go to the bathroom or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you don't call me back so that they can... Oh, okay. I'll call you back. Sure. When do you want me to call you back? Anytime. Anytime you are free, okay? Oh, that sounds good. Well, then I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, that was got to be the most boring conversation I've ever had. I'm rather disappointed. Tina, thank you.